Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to In the Studio with Josh. We're um, going to be remixing a very popular song called All Star today. Um, so this been the song has been requested a lot in, in a lot of my classes. So I figured I would um, do a little remix of it today. So I uploaded the songs to our website. So just go to Rock to the Future um, dot org slash program slash online learning. And down here, you'll see, here we go, um, Wednesdays in the studio with Josh. And here you can grab the mini files, open those up. It'll take you to a nice little Google Drive. And here's all the songs that we've currently uh, remixed. Um, and you just want to download All Star by Smash Mouth. Okay, next, I'm going to open the studio. Enter the studio. And if there's a song that you want me to remix, make sure to drop it. Um, drop your suggestions below. Um, and I will definitely consider it as long as I can find some MIDI files for it. Um, then we're in business. So open up uh, my session. I'm going to click on a music session. All right, now um, I'm going to add a new track going to import file and the file I'm going to import is smash mouth MIDI files so it's dot MID so now here's my MIDI's let's hear what this sounds like <laughs> So I want to change a lot about this. Um, I'm going to first examine the bass because I'm not hearing the bass as much as I'd like to. Okay, that's kind of weird. So I'm going to click on my bass and see what we got, what instrument we have. So this is right now a guitar. So let's change it to a bass. All right, let's hear what this sounds like. There we go. There we go, nice. Okay, cool. I like the sound of that bass. Let's change the guitar too. So I'm going to just solo the guitar, these upstrokes right here. Because right now it's all the same sounding guitar and I want to change things up a little bit. Cool. I want something less rock guitar. So what we can do is we can play the track. So just press space bar. And then we're going to hit this button here to change the sound. And as always, I've got my little notepad right here to write down some of the uh, guitar sounds I like. I like that spaghetti one. Okay. I like banjo. I like ukulele too. Cool. Kind of like upright bass too. Okay. All right. So I have a list of um, some that I like. Let's. I do like that one too. Okay. Electric. <clears throat> 
All right, I want to try one last thing with these chords. Um, let's look at our synths and see if, if we can find any kind of synth that we like a lot too. Um, thinking maybe a nice road sound might be kind of cool. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. All right, let's hear what a road sound. So we're completely changing the instrument uh, sound here. Cool. I like that a lot, actually. I'm going to add a little more reverb. Take it back a little bit. Cool. And this is one of my favorite parts of the song. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, duplicate the whole track. Okay. Now I'm going to change the sound because I really like the sound of ukulele as well. So I'm going to play around with um, having both of these in my pocket. So um, ukulele was under guitar and let's see, you can always see this too. Uke. Type in, type it in. Okay, what's this one? No. Okay. So if we're in guitar and guitar and bass, I was in guitars. I found uke. <laughs> So again, if, if there's some songs that you guys want me to remix, make sure to drop it down in the um, comments and I will consider it for next week's uh, guitar class. All right, so let's go through this again. And we have like over a thousand different instruments that we can choose choose from here in our bank. Um, <clears throat> there's tons and tons of different types of guitar sounds. So um, you're sure to find, find something that works. There you go. Cool. Let's hear how these two sound together now. I don't want to hear um, the heavy distorted guitarist. Let's just hear what we have so far. Um... Cool. All right, so from the top. Um... So let's mess around with the drums a little bit. And um, what we're going to do is open up our loops. So over here on um, the sidebar where it has uh, music notes, um, we're going to search some drum beats. And again, I got my pad next to me too. Just if, um, once I hear something that I like, I'm gonna um, write, write it down. And um, that is a fill, so um, we're not going to use the uh, fill for the top of the song, right? We want something that's real steady. Um, so you'll see something like fill or full. A full um, should be about like eight, eight measures. So we're looking for something um, that's like a full beat, right? Not just a fill. Okay. Thank you. 
<laughs> All right, let's see how this sounds. In it. This might be interesting. So, eh, not a huge fan of it. I can always go over here and then um, I can delete this track. Okay, and let's keep searching. Try this out. Okay, from the top. Cool, I like that. So here we go from the top. going to drag that all the way over to my chorus which i believe is at me the end of measure 16 let's listen in though Here. yep there it is There we go. Cool. So I'm going to take that same kind of sound and um, uh, just change my chorus to a, a different type of beat. Um, but I'm bringing that drum track onto this track. So I had the same exact uh, drum sound. Okay. All right. So let's hear how the transition from the chorus to here sounds. <laughs> So then I want to go back to that original drum sound. So I'm going to command copy and I'm going to go over here and to that uh, measure and just command paste it. So now um, from the chorus back into the verse, I'm using the verses uh, drum track. Let's hear how that sounds. We're playing it from the chorus, the end of the chorus. <laughs> It's real interesting. I'm going to bring that actually to the, the end of the entire song. Okay, cool. So now let's mess around with our other guitar parts. So we have, uh, we're happy with our bass. We're happy with that guitar, um, guitar, uh, the, the, the first upstroke pattern. Um, let's listen into this part. <laughs> I kind of like um, that guitar sound. Let's keep keep that one. Let's hear this one now. All right, let's start it from here. All right, I want to change that sound definitely. Okay, cool. So up top here. Um, this thing, you can um, just repeat or like loop a certain section. You can drag this around um, if you want to just focus on like measure one through eight. Then you can drag this just to measure eight and keep looping it. Um, and you can also just click on it and then you're listening to the entire track. So I'm going to solo this track right here. Um, I just want to listen into this guitar, guitar sound and find uh, something that I like. And I wrote down a couple different uh, 
sounds that I thought would uh, sound well with this, like an upright bass or banjo or the spaghetti guitar. Um, so let's let's look in our bank for those specific uh, sounds uh, to throw in here. Let's hear this one actually too. <laughs> Cool. Cool. Let's hear how this sounds together with every all the other guitar parts. All right, so unsolo this. Let's go to here. <laughs> Cool. All right. So let's hear finally how this last guitar part sounds. Because it sounds like this and the chorus kind of come together. So let's let's hear just this guitar part. Um, and I, I know I definitely want to change the sound of it uh, from that rock guitar sound. Um, so let's hear how this sounds. <laughs> take it from the same spot again because this is only for the chorus that this guitar comes in okay so what we can do is just start playing this one again and let's look at my um the different sounds that i can create and look for some of those um ones that i wrote down so i have spaghetti lead that i like ukulele which I believe is up by acoustics. Yeah. Let's hear how the ukulele sounds. Cool. Let's hear the, the sounds together, right? from the top. Let's hear how everything sounds together. Oops. From the very top. Thank you. 
my remix of smash mouth's all-star if you want to make your own remix of all-star by smash mouth you can go to our website rock to the future.org under programs you click under online classes and live streams and that's going to give you a breakdown of all the cool classes that we're offering and if you have um, a student of yours that's interested that lives in philadelphia in our free programs, we have a bunch of different uh, classes that we're working on right now um, that are free that you can sign up for right now. Um, Wednesday here in the studio is where you can grab the MIDI files. So download those MIDI files, get yourself into Soundtrap and start creating. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>